good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth Rollins figure. Now, this is a figure that we have been waiting on for a very long time, right? This, this figure has been on my wish list for a long time, ever since we saw it at Hogan's Beach Shop Ringside Fest down there in Florida. I have wanted this figure, man. I just think it's beautiful. I cannot wait to actually feel it in hand, see what it's like, get to see all of the details. We actually did get to see this figure on display at the WrestleMania Superstore and we didn't even have an idea about the fur coat and then bam there it is fur coat on display at the superstore out in LA where I got to go and actually see it in person and the figure was immaculate so to finally have it in my hands now I am super excited man but this isn't my favorite gear I do like the gear but this isn't my favorite Seth Rollins gear of all time but I do like it and enjoy it figure looks pretty good men on cards standard ultimate edition packaging here nothing out of the ordinary or wacky you have the fur coat you have your three interchangeable heads no championship this time but it is your standard ultimate edition packaging ultimate edition logo here you have an image of the beautiful specimen on the side on the back you get an image of rollins here and this is this looks like an early proto or something man like the, the head doesn't look like it really has any true effects you have like this yellowy color or like not as much black going on on the robe no chest or stomach hair that's kind of interesting seth rollins here seth rollins here it says down here he is a visionary he is a revolutionary you know he's got a nice dairy airy what do you mean by that Seth Rollins on this side as well, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for Seth freaking Rollins, man. I'm excited. I don't want to wait any longer, man, so without further ado, actually, I do want to add something. If you guys would like to grab this figure, I don't know if it's on back order or still on pre-order or if they have it in stock right now at Ringside Collectibles, but use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Always appreciate them, but with that being said, let's crack this man out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and get started. And here is the visionary out of his packaging. Really enjoying the figure so far, man. I just love this figure of Seth Rollins. I think, I don't know, we may have to wait till the end of the video, but this, in terms of quality, in terms of details, and how great this figure looks aesthetically, and how well he poses and feels in hand, this might actually be the best Seth Rollins action figure ever created. Could that be? We'll have to see, but this is nice, and I'm enjoying it so far, man. But we won't know unless we dive into all the details. So what we're going to do first is absolutely take a look at his accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Seth Rollins himself. Alright man, so getting into everything you get with the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins you get the fur jacket, you get the three interchangeable head sculpts, you get the interchangeable hands, you don't get a championship okay? This isn't BK, you don't get it your way. I'll take this every damn day of the week. I mean this fur coat is freaking fantastic man look at this right here. I love how you have these silver dots going over it. Then you have this rainbow colored brickish mosaic sort of pattern going on it looks really cool. It's almost like stained glass as well. It looks really excellent. The fur on here feels super soft. It almost feels like, so So in my family, my dog Charlie, beautiful chocolate lab. Her ears, people always, it's like an ongoing running joke in the family that her ears are the softest thing ever. It feels like Mattel ripped off my dog's ears and put them on this robe. That's what this feels like. It's super soft. You have like this orangish brown fading to black. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they do this on a mass like level you know what i'm saying there are claw there are t-shirt companies and people that make these jackets for real You'll never get this craftsmanship out of those jackets. You won't even get how well this feels. And this is a jacket shrunk down into this scale. It's absolutely impossible. And I gotta be real with you, this is probably a top five accessory from Mattel ever. It's definitely up there. Like it, it can compete with the best of any of these robes that we've seen in the past. It's very, very nice. It has some heft to it. It is cool. It, this is great. Fantastic work by Mattel here. You guys saw it on the figure. It looks fantastic. This is damn good. This makes the figure this almost makes it worth the figure alone. You try to go get somebody in the community that makes custom clothes like this detailed, it'll be probably more for the jacket than you will pay for this figure at retail price, and you get the jacket and the figure. Something to think about, Brad. Now, for these head sculpts, I really, really enjoyed this one. I don't know if it's my favorite. It's definitely my, it's either my favorite or my second favorite, but tell me this one doesn't look identical to the old fan takeover one. At least, it. I will give you, this one does look better than the one on the left over here, but it's still very, very similar. I mean, they are the same guy, given you know what I mean? But the hair sculpt's practically the only difference. It looks like they increased the size as well. Like, the size of the one on the right is definitely more noticeable. But I 
do think it has more likeness. I think this one looks better, and yeah, I definitely like this one on the Ultimate better, but the likeness is pretty similar to that one, but I enjoy this head sculpt. You got the longer hair on there. It looks good. Then you have like the gritty smile sort of head sculpt that looks very similar to the old SummerSlam Elite, which is this head sculpt right here. Ever since the first time we saw this head sculpt, I thought it was this one over here. Like, it looks so much like it. The likeness is there. I mean, these are very much the same, and I don't really care for these, to be honest with you. I probably won't ever yet. Like, I never use this one. This is like a makeshift custom thrown together at the last minute. I never liked this head sculpt from Mattel, so anytime we ever got it, I was always like, you know, what are, what are we doing over here? But this one looks uh, better than that one for sure, but this still isn't my favorite, but it's not the biggest deal, you know? I, I'm not going to use it that much, but you do get that one. And last but not least, you get the screaming expression, which is probably my favorite one out of the bunch. I really enjoy this one. I like the sculpt to it. I like the hair. This has good likeness to Rollins. I like the beard. This is a this is a nice head sculpt. I like this one. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see this over and over, but they don't typically like to plug in Ultimate Edition head sculpts. You guys ever notice that? They don't like to just reuse Ultimates in Elite form, which I don't know if that's... I don't know what the deal is with that, but that just seems to be an ongoing thing. Like, it happens. Don't get me wrong. It happens, but it's not... It doesn't happen that often, but uh, I like the screaming expression. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the signature fisted hands, which every figure pretty much comes with nowadays from Mattel. You have the hands that make the world go round with the mic holding, weapon wielding style hands, which are always a, a select group of hands that have to come together. You gotta have these with every figure. And then some hands that pretty much come with every figure, it seems like nowadays, you have the Ricochet Entrance Kawhi Leonard handshaking style hands, which I don't even know if anybody watching this video knows what I'm talking about when I say Kawhi Leonard. I call them that because these first came with Ricochet, I'm pretty sure, in the like Elite 69 figure. And we have gotten them on a clip ever since, and they're just so damn big that they remind me of the claw Kawhi Leonard so you know that's just the way it is but uh, yeah you get these and then I think a beautiful inclusion was the Randy Orton entrance style hands I think these fit perfect with Seth Rollins current look the way his entrance music goes you guys know the whole deal this is a beautiful inclusion and nothing beats being there live to see a hundred thousand people singing along with Seth Rollins while he does his little dancey dance this is good stuff right here these, this is a great inclusion by Mattel very creative and a good usage of these hands all right, man, so getting into Seth Rollins himself, this figure looks fantastic, man. I like the way the head sits on here. We already looked at the head sculpts. I need to, I definitely will be heating this up and then putting this in position and making it there. That way it falls naturally and looks better than this garbage. Like, look at that warpage right there. What the hell? It's not that big of a deal, man. Relax. Don't tell me what to do, Brad. Going down to the chest, this is pretty much the exact same chest decal you get on his Elite figures. Let's go ahead and make a comparison here. And yeah, they're the exact same. I just think that with the butterfly joints, you don't get as wide of a torso on this Elite here as this Ultimate. This is the Rick Rude torso. I think it looks beautiful, man. The proportions here are great. I like the, you know, the way everything looks here. One thing I will say is just like a little nitpick for the future. I'd like to see them use like for smaller guys, even though he's smaller than Bobby Lashley, you guys know how like Bobby Lashley's figures and other guys have like the striation new shoulder sculpt. They need to add that to guys like, you know, HBK and Seth Rollins and stuff like that because I think it would really add to the figure. You get a little bit there maybe. I don't know if that's accidental or if it's meant to be there, but I'd like to see like those muscular shoulders rather than just the circle style that these have right now. But I like the double jointed arms, the black tape. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of the whole figure and that is this newly sculpted crotch piece. I want to see this implemented on a lot of figures going forward, not just the ultimate editions. I'd like to see this in the elites. I'd like to see this customized. You know, you get that great belt sculpt in there. And this is another thing is, you know, the, now that we have all these updated Rollins with this new formula, we need to see old Rollins redone. We need to see Elite 45. We need to see the cash-in Rollins, which we're getting in the Greatest Hits wave. We've already discussed that, but you do have, you know, the belt sculpt going all the way around. This is not sculpted, actually, but all this here is painted on. So all this, you know, all the colors and everything right here. This isn't like bad gear, but it's not my favorite gear of all time. Time. Reminds me a lot of like the Tron gear from back in like 2017 at SummerSlam. It's not like a gear that I hate, but it's not one that I'm like, oh yeah, that gear's the best of all time. So I enjoy the gear, but I do like the sculpt here on the kick pads. I like the way all this stuff looks here. The Ultimate Edition boot articulation. Just a really well established and aesthetic figure. He just moves around well, man. I mean, look at this Ultimate Edition. Like everybody knows that the Ultimate Editions don't pose around the best as far as torso and ab crunch. This is something I'd 
you'd like to see improve somehow, but you do get at least a good range here. The butterfly joints are really tight. I think that's something the Mattel has pretty well improved on. You know, I think, you know, you can get, come across here. He can reach back very far there. He can do the splits. He does have the do drop down hips, which can get loose and get on my nerves, but I'm not noticing any loosage here right now. Just want to be careful with that, not to snap it or anything. You get the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, kick pad rotation, ankle rocker, which it's not a Spider-Man figure, so it doesn't need to be the best, but the angles move up and down and you get the toe pivot there. Double jointed arms, you know how they are. They're fantastic ever since the inflammation, you know. We, we've been waiting, like, ever since Mattel introduced that, they've just been on fire with that. They, these figures are just the best wrestling action figures ever made and, uh, you know, we, we still have plenty of figures to come and this is just a great figure, man. I'm really enjoying the Seth Rollins. I think uh, he's up there. He feels really quality in hand, which is always something. If, if you hear me say it feels good in the hand in a review, probably worth the grab. Now, getting into some Seth Rollins Elite Figure comparisons, you have the Elite 86 here, the Elite 99, the Ultimate Edition Series 17, the Elite Top Talents from this year, and then you have the Elite 93 over here, and you guys will notice this one has two gloves working on something there. Just stay with me. You're smelling what I'm stepping in there. But I don't know, man. Like, seeing this figure up next to the rest, I think if, like, there's just, oh, uh, man, this is the problem when you collect for a long time and you have these old formulas. Like, this figure was great. I literally own seven of these, and now I feel like it's kind of obsolete in comparison to the formula that you're getting with the Ultimate and these new Elites. And that's what I'm saying, man. We need flashback Rollins in those old gears in the updated formula, similar to what they're doing with Hulk Hogan, I'm sure, in the future. We're going to get re-releases and stuff like that, but this is the Ultimate Edition Series 17 Rollins, and then I wanted to compare it to my custom that my boy Ty Goodridge, a nice patron member of the channel here, he helped me out with this MDT style, and I always felt like these kind of reminded me of each other, but... I'm gonna be real, I like this, I like this attire better, but it's not because it says My Damn Rollins on it, alright? It's not. But seriously though, uh, I just want to compare these because they remind me of each other, but yeah, the Seth Rollins figure is just so good, man. He poses around with the best of them, bro. I want to get some Ultimate Editions in here, though, for comparison. And then for some Ultimate Edition figure comparisons, you have the AJ Styles from Series 16, then the Roman Ultimate. This is the Ultimate, he's just got the gold gauntlet, but then you have Seth Rollins there. Kind of got like AT&T raising the bar here. All three of these look pretty good up next to each other, I'd say in terms of height they'll scale pretty well i'd say and i'm enjoying it man these are great honestly not even gonna bullsh with you I bet if you put this on this figure, put this torso on this figure, put the AJ Styles tattoo on this right here, and you might be, uh, that might be, uh, you might have a little something special going on there, young man. Let me see here. Put that AJ tattoo right there, bro. Yeah, you, I think you'd have something there, man. I think you could, uh, yeah, I might, I might play around with that, see what's up. Nonetheless, I'm loving all these current ultimates we're getting, man. You need to fill out the whole day. Every, every, I mean, like, think about the current list you have. You have Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes. Rey Mysterio's getting one, even though it's not up to date. You have John Cena, who I guess is part-time still, but Brock Lesnar, Edge, Demon Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura. We have a pretty good collection of Ultimates. Nonetheless, that does it for your Seth Rollins figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth Rollins review, man. Had a ton of fun with this guy. I think at the end of the day, he's a fun figure, man. He he just feels so good in the hand. I think, personally, that at the end of the year, this guy's going to be up there with your AJ Styles. He's going to be up there with some of the best Ultimates of the year. Some of the best action figures all year from Mattel and WWE. I've, I've just had a blast with this figure. I'm a big Seth Rollins guy, so I like it. But I would skip the Elite 93. I would skip, ooh, the Elite 99 is a damn good figure, but I love this figure and the way it looks, and I've really came around on Mattel's butterfly joints. They used to be kind of loose. They've tightened them up. They feel really great and strong, so that leads me to believe that this figure may be better than his Elite 99. I certainly like the head skull better than Elite 99. The jacket is pretty much on par with Elite 99, and then it just comes down to gear, which is a personal preference, so I, I get this one, man. This, this figure is fantastic. I think it is a must-have for any Rollins fan. If you are wanting to update your Rollins, this is the one to get. I really, really like it. Even though the Elite 99 is undefeated and it was the second best figure of all of last year, in my opinion, I still like this Ultimate Edition. I think you guys should grab it. And if you guys want to, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course, when shopping over there. But this has the seal of approval for me. I would put this guy up there with the Ultimate Edition Ronda. I'd put him up there with the Ultimate Edition Brock from Series 15. He is up there, man. He feels immaculate in hand, poses around well, does all the bells and whistles you want. 
fur coat. I mean, it writes itself, man. This is a great piece, and I think you should go at it. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to give a huge shout-out to our patrons over there on the MDT Patreon page. If you guys are interested in doing that, definitely go check it out. We had a new sign-up yesterday. I know I'm going to butcher this last name, so I do apologize, but it's Michael Ihakak. I, I know I'm butchering that, and I do apologize that, for that. But a huge shout-out to Michael, man. Thank you so much, brother, for being a patron, being a new patron of the MDT Patreon. If you guys are interested in that, cool perks over there. We're giving away an Elite 100 Ray Mysterio this month, and you have, I think, like one to two days left. Stream Division members or higher get in on the giveaways every single month, and I think we're the drawing for that will be either tomorrow or the next day. So time's running out. Definitely go get on on that if you're interested. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I had a lot of technical problems getting this review up. So a like would greatly be appreciated. Leave me your thoughts on the Seth Rollins figure down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We